Let's move on to Congress. Because the Democrats aren't the only party not giving the people what they want. Uh, last week, Republicans decided that the new Speaker of the House would be Mike Johnson, Louisiana congressman. I don't know who the f*** he is, either. Um, <laughs> no one had ever heard of the guy before he became Speaker, but since then, we've been learning a lot about him, especially what his favorite book is. Johnson's religion is the cornerstone of his politics. Go pick up a Bible off your shelf and read it. That's, that's my worldview. In a Facebook post just last year, Johnson argued biblical beliefs couldn't be separated from public affairs, a sentiment he's long championed. Before entering Congress, Johnson did legal work for a creationist museum and has said the Bible depicts actual historical events. You once worked for the Alliance Defense Fund, a Christian advocacy group, yep. and comments you had made both in writing and advocacy for this group about homosexuality, calling it sinful, destructive, um, and, and not supporting gay marriage. Um, quote, no clear right to sodomy in the Constitution. I mean, yeah, it would have been weird if they'd put sodomy in the Constitution, right? So, <laughs> so we're all agreed there's going to be no king, there will be three branches of government, and we're all cool with butt stuff. Like, mm. <laughs> the Constitution never would have been finished if they spent all that time specifying what was and wasn't allowed, okay? Section 17, where do we stand on rim jobs? It's like, mm. <laughs> And just to be clear, there's no right to sodomy in the Constitution, but there is a clause, you can get it on your birthday. <laughs> the, the point is, the new Speaker of the House is a hardcore Christian whose worldview is just the Bible. And it's funny to me how only Christian politicians are allowed to do that. Imagine if Elon Omar was like, yeah, my views are basically everything in the Quran. Even Muslims would be like, Asalama, hell no, okay? <laughs> For more on Speaker Mike Johnson, let's go live to the U.S. Capitol with Michael Costa. <laughs> Michael, what do you think of the new speaker being such a Bible believer? Oh, it's great news, Charlemagne. Until now, the House has been a dysfunctional mess of gridlock and infighting, but when you introduce religion into a conflict, it gets fixed right away. <laughs> but what if Mike Johnson tries to force his religious beliefs into law? Well, would that be so bad? The Bible's rules are timeless and always relevant. Like, uh, right here. Shellfish must be banned as a detestable abomination. Great idea. The only good part of lobster anyways was the butter, right? We, <laughs> we should just be drinking the hot butter. Or what about this? God tells Ezekiel to bake bread over a fire made of dry human dung. Yeah, poop. <laughs> Okay, that could be our clean energy that America needs. Well, it's not that clean, but it's renewable. And, and you know, after a tummy full of hot butter, I'm basically a power plant. Well, how about this? How about this? A menstruating woman is unclean, and the righteous man shall not approach her. Let's try it, America. Michael, come on, seriously. Shunning women from society during their menstrual cycle sounds backwards as hell. Calm down, calm down, okay? It's just during their period. That's like, what, 20, 30 minutes? You know, it, it, <laughs> it'll be done with respect, and I'm sure Mike Johnson has talked all about these Bible-based policies already. Actually, no. Uh, I don't think he's ever talked about any of these weird laws you're talking about. <laughs> Come on, man. Mike Johnson? He, you're telling me he, he, he wouldn't just pick and choose the parts of the Bible he liked best. Oh, God. That would be hypocritical. Gosh, Charlemagne, for a guy named The God, you don't know a lot about <laughs> Christianity. We can expect Mike Johnson to push for all these laws, and I can't wait for him to implement 1 Samuel chapter 18, where David has to bring 200 foreskins to King Saul as a dowry to marry the princess. 